Beyond Photography Show, Andrew Boy. You know, I think we've been doing way too many episodes in the studio, you know. What do you think if we do one episode that's like outdoor natural lighting? Where do you want to go? You know, we have the MRT now and it takes us directly to Pataling Street. So maybe we can do street photography and completely episodes and techniques on natural lighting and Apart from that, okay, okay, we got this new gimbal that I want to evaluate. So you can film with this gimbal here. So why not you go get the students, I go pack the gear. Action! Okay, we're gonna head on to the Indian Galan flower sellers, the florist. Ane, nala ida ka? Ida. Photo edu kula ma? Parachinale. Yano de ane? You know what we wanna do? We wanna go on a low angle, and then when he does this, you see that his face is frozen, but his hands are moving. So it actually helps if you know how to speak the local language, but if you do not know how to speak the local language, you can do the international way of asking for permission, which is to smile. Smile and hold up your camera and not your head. If they shy away and turn their face, then you may not get your permission. So I'm going to look at him and smile and nod. And he nods, that means you got your permission. Focus on his face. So you can see that the hands are blurry. That shows he's busy working or the face and everything else is shot. Your shutter speed has got to be low and you use your ISO and aperture to get the correct exposure. So at the moment now, I'm at ISO 100 despite the fact that I'm supposed to be using ISO 400, 400 or 800 and at 5.6, but my shutter speed is one over tenth of a second. So just hold still, hold it down and do a burst shot. So we're at the Indian temple now. You notice that it's very spacious. So the rule that you can use here is the rule of space. So shoot things wide and back up. Shoot more things. And then apart from that, you get very shiny floors. So you can do a lot of symmetrical shots with reflection. So if you look at it, one of the shots that I always like to do are the Indian ladies sitting next to the peeler. So you're gonna get a lot of reflection. Now the thing is that you notice it's also quite dark, so the ISO should be at about 800. So the trick is not to bring up your camera to someone and just point it and then try to take a shot. You will never be fast enough. So always hold out your hand if you can. And then choose the F number that you want and then hold it up there and you notice that you're underexposed, just turn the shutter speed. Meter it against your hand. So once you get it to zero or about zero, then you walk up to your subject and always remember, if you want to take a photo of a subject, don't point it directly. Go there, look around, shoot something else first. That way your subject will not be disturbed or alerted by you pointing the camera there. And then look at that person and smile. If she smiles back, hold up your camera, smile and nod. And if she doesn't shoo you away, you take your shot. Now the thing about the Indian temple is that you cannot wear your shoe in there. So as you can see, I had to remove my shoe and checked it in at the counter and paid a guy a dollar, a ringgit, to take care of my shoe. So if you are a lady, you cannot be wearing short pants like me. So Suzanne, let me show everybody what you're wearing now. Look at Suzanne. She looks like, wow. So you gotta put your shoe at the counter and also grab yourself one of these sarong. sarong to cover your feet. Nice. Right. I'm going to teach you how to shoot perspective. There are three ways to shoot perspective. Front sharp, back blur, back sharp, front blur, and then the third one, all sharp. So I've got this row of Indian god statues. So I'm going to focus the front three statues and then blur the back. So I'm going to choose an F number of about F5.6 or about F4. So the ISO here, it's 400. It's bright indoor. And because you notice that they are colorful, they got colorful flowers on their hands. So you're gonna go to your camera 
and you always got this feature called the picture control if you're using the Nikon go to vivid this will make the color stronger and then take up your camera go to an angle lower your shutter speed until you get zero focus on the second deity and boom so you notice that the background is blur let's do the other way where the background is sharper and the foreground is blur and finally you want to do all of the statue shots so you want to go as high as f11 so i moved from f4 right up to f11 so how many stops did i make my camera darker 5.6 8 11 three stops which means that i have to make my iso higher now so i've got to go to my iso 400 becomes 800 that's one stop another stop 1600 another stop 3200 so there you have the three ways of shooting perspective One of the shots that you want to do in street photography are moving traffic. Cars blurry with motion while the pedestrians are frozen in time behind a beautiful graffiti wall like this. So how do you take shots like this? Very easy. You choose a low shutter speed. The shutter speed is about maybe 50, 1 over 50 of a second. So I chose my shutter speed to be about 1 over 50 out of a second. And then you know that when the shutter speed is so low on a bright day like this, your F number needs to be high. So I'll go as high as I can, which is F16. And then you bring up your camera. The ISO now is 200. Look through it. You notice that you are two stop overexposed. So that means you have to drop to ISO 100. That's one stop. Drop lower. So I get L1.0. So if you take up the camera now, you notice that you are perfectly zero so when you have a shutter speed that low when the traffic moves you go on bird shot you're gonna see cars and motorcycles blurry with motion so if you have pedestrian like this crossing even better go on bird shot so what happens is you're gonna see the traffic coming towards them I hope you have enjoyed our street photography tutorial if you like what you learn don't forget we conduct street photography Check out when we're going to do this class again from this schedule here. I'll see you again in the next episode.